Mr. John Bob, what should soccer in the U.S. do to develop a strong national team? Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, they need to actually have a very strong structure here because um, America has so many players in every state. And these players I come across, they are all talented. So it's a question of brainstorming on how to get these players together. Like my suggestion is uh, every state should have a national team. And then uh, from there, this national team, there should be a panel of selectors that, ca that visit every state to form a strong country team that could face teams like Argentina. You remember what happened last time, US against, against Argentina team. So I think they could do it like that. Now one, what is that structure? Now this structure, uh, US should get uh, their players right from the lower level the under-17 World Cup national team, under-20 World Cup national team, and then Olympic team, under-23, and then their national team. It should be kind of a pyramid where they, we get this, you get these players. And then um, just in the same vein, you should every state in this country should have a soccer academy of excellence. You don't have any academy of excellence here in the U.S. These are some of the attributes that you need to have a good national team. Otherwise, U.S. is second to none when you come to youth development program. You are the women champions in the world. Now, why can't you be the world champions on the men's side? It's a little laxity. Back in my country, Kenya, our girls are working very, very hard. They are now playing in the Africa women qualifying rounds, not qualifying, but finals in Morocco during the month of November. And we hope uh, the assistants should come and uh, these ladies should be assisted. Assistants in terms of corporate. They need training. They need to come here and train. They need to come to the U.S. and train to get more exposure, to play against your national girls national teams so that when they go to to Cameroon they are already a, a, a ready side to, to play against uh, countries like Nigeria the, the established countries like South Africa and other nations otherwise in the US here uh, I'm now in the United States I'm in the state of Minnesota if I'm not wrong this is Plymouth ground I've been coaching soccer here for the last 15 years and I highly compliment the city council of Plymouth for, for this kind of maintenance in the field. You can see the field is well maintained. Unfortunately, players are not there today because, uh, because of the holiday coming. Maybe you could explain why your players are not here. Um, could you... Uh... As far as why we're not here today? Mm -hmm. Oh, the holiday, yes. Um, this coming Monday is the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So you are not, uh, most of these players have gone away for their holidays? Yeah, yes. Um, they uh, use the day off to visit family or um, just uh, spend time with friends or whatnot. Okay. So actually, that is what is happening. Otherwise, U.S. has a good youth development program. But somewhere at 17 years, 16 years, 18 years, they start disappearing because you guys, you drive cars, you live in Lac City. But you see in my country, uh, sports is part of our lives there. So we, t we take it 24 hours or 48 hours. So that is the difference. So you should have a trend or a criteria of developing your soccer here. All right. Uh, thank you for your answer, Mr. John Bob. Thank you very right. much. God right. bless you. All right. Thank you.